Hey everybody, it's Melissa. wanted to share a tag I made that is a total departure from what I usually do. So, this is it. I used the DCWV um, Mademoiselle stack. I'm using my glue <laughs> for an easel. Anyway, um, I used that and I just used one piece of paper, just a small portion actually. This is the rest of the piece. So, I have a lot of scrap left over. Anyway, I just cut that out with my Tim Holtz uh, tag and book plate die. And after I cut out the tag, I used the Brilliance Moonlight White and just went, as you can see, just barely around the edges. And it does have a bit of a glimmer, but I used so little of it that you really can't see it unless you're up really, really close. So I did that around the edges and then. After that, I took the Chestnut Roan Cat's Eye ink and just inked around the edges to darken the paper. The paper is was not heavy duty enough, so I just uh, cut out an, another tag and glued it to the back. After I inked and glued them together and such, I took one of the Making Memories Noteworthies and I, I think I got these at Hobby Lobby a long time ago and cut it in half and then inked it with let's see these three went very lightly on the walnut satin and put that down with the ATG gun. After I did that I have um, a very old it's one of the first clear stamps I ever got. Uh, it's a flourish and I don't even know if y'all can see it back behind her. I used clear embossing powder on it and just put a couple of flourishes behind her and then the word romance I stamped it in tea dye ink. Then I took Marie here, we're calling her Marie Antoinette, and I fussy cut her out of that piece of paper. And on the DCWV paper, their their glitter doesn't fall off their paper, but in this case, I just found it a little bit too sparkly because all of these areas where the glitter is were super sparkly like this rose in the background. So what I did after I cut her out, I took the Ranger glue and seal and this is the matte finish and just used my finger and rubbed it all over her and it really changed the texture I really really like that matte finish because it's still glittery but it's not sparkly glittery so I did that to her and I went around her edges after I cut her with with the ink just on the white part there's you can you can't even tell that it's on there but it does make a difference and I placed her on the tag with black dimensional adhesive. And then I took one of the Tim Holtz uh, chandelier stamps. It's one of his clear stamp sets. And embossed with white, seafoam white embossing powder, the chandeliers, in three places. And then just took my cream colored Viva Pearl pins and made some little swirls and flourishes. And then when I was finished with everything, I just thought it needed a little something else. So I took my Tim Holtz ruler and just put it right here and used those holes in every fourth inch. I took this piece of packaging that I have instead of using one of those push pin pads. I use this. I have a big huge sheet of it. And just a needle tool and made holes every quarter of an inch and just did a running stitch. And since she's French, I put French knots at the top and the bottom of the stitching line. And that's what I came up with. Just put a big old eyelet, cream color eyelet at the top. And um, she's different. I like her. It's quite a departure for me. So anyway, let me know what y'all think. And everyone have a great day.
or night. Thanks for watching. Bye.